Hi everyone. In the last video, I explained the difference between real GDP and nominal GDP. They both measure the amount of economic activity that's occurring, but nominal GDP uses prices from the current year, whereas real GDP uses prices from the base year. So real GDP gives us, you know, prices are not changing when you calculate real GDP, so it gives us a better sense of the quantity of stuff produced. Well, what I want to do here is just go ahead and uh, show you how to go ahead and calculate real GDP in practice. Uh, now, you wouldn't want to go through and look at all the millions of different prices, keep them constant at one year, and then go ahead and multiply by the relevant quantities to get real GDP. It's just too complicated to do. That's something for the government to do. For us, in the textbook, you know, just working with this stuff, there's actually an easier way to go ahead and do it. And the way to do it is to realize that real GDP in a given year, and here I'm going to use T for its subscript to let you know it's this year, is just going to equal nominal GDP for the same year times the price level in the base year, and I'll just write B there because I'm running out of space, but that's supposed to be for the base year, divided by the price level this year. Okay. So it's actually a relatively simple equation. You have one equation with one, two, three, four unknowns. If I tell you any three of the unknowns, you should be able to go ahead and solve for the fourth. Now in this particular one, I'm going to give you nominal GDP, um, the price level in the base year, and the price level in the current year, and I'm going to ask you to solve for real GDP. But in principle, I could give you real GDP and nominal GDP, the price of the base year, and you could solve for the current price level, or maybe I give you the current price level, the price in the base year, and real GDP, and ask you to solve for nominal GDP. All right, so, you know, at this point, once you know what the equation is and you understand the intuition behind it, it's just right back to high school algebra. We have one equation and a certain unknowns. If you can figure out, if I give you any three of the unknowns, you can go ahead and figure out the fourth. Okay? Well, as it turns out, uh, let's go ahead and do this for the United States for the year 2012. So, nominal GDP nominal GDP in 2012 is 15 uh, 684.8 .8 billion so it's a big number 15 684,000 billions okay so if you have thousands of billions, that basically translates into trillions. So I could have said, you know, the size of the U.S. economy in 2012 is at least the total amount of stuff produced. Oh, it was a 0.8 there, 0.8. So let me erase that a little bit, make this a little bit easier for you to go ahead and read. So that's 0.8 billions, which is another way of saying 15 point, round it to 7 trillion dollars. So there's roughly $15.7 trillion worth of stuff bought in the U.S. economy in 2012. But that's the size of the economy evaluated using prices from 2012. Well, the price in the base year, which is 2005 for the United States right now, is 100. Okay? And it turns out the price level in 2012 is... Uh, the price level in 2012 is 115.387. Now remember, the price level is just a measure of average prices of goods and services. Okay? So what this means is in 2012, the average price of goods and services in the United States were about 15% higher than where they were in the base year. And the base year is 2005. So over a seven-year period, prices rose by about 15% on average in the United States. Well, look what I've done. I've given you nominal GDP, so you know this unknown. I've given you the base um, price level, so I know that unknown. I've given you the price level in 2012, so I've given you that unknown. So everything on the right-hand side is now known, so I should be able to plug in and go ahead and solve. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right here. All right, so real GDP, so imagine I've got, and I'm just going to abbreviate things a little bit more so I don't have to use the second screen. Real GDP, which is unknown, is going to equal nominal GDP, which is 15,684.8 billions, or 15.7 trillion dollars if you're rounding, times 
the ratio of the price level in the base year, which is 100, divided by the price level in the current year, which is 115.387. And if you go through and you do those calculations, you should find that real GDP is 13,593.2 billions of dollars. Meaning, if you measure the amount of output using current prices, we produced about $15.7 trillion in 2012. But if you use prices from the base year, base year we only produced $13.6 billion worth of stuff. Okay, now why the difference? Well, you have to think back to the intuition behind nominal versus real GDP here. Nominal GDP, uh, the, size of your, the measure of the size of your economy can change because one, quantities changes, which is a good thing, that's the effect we're trying to pick up, or two, if um, prices change. And that's bad because we want our measure of GDP to measure the size of the economy or the total amount of stuff it does. So in this calculation, we just arbitrarily said we're going to use the prices in 2005 to measure um, goods and services produced in 2012. So we use the price of computers from 2005, the price of cars, the price of an apple from 2005, the price of housing from 2005, and we used all those prices to calculate real GDP in 2012. And what we discovered is when you do that, real GDP ends up being $13,593.2 billion. Okay, everyone, so that's the end of this video, and in the next one we'll talk a little bit more about growth rates.